and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For our last deck here on the Rank Up Sunday stream, we're going with Gruul Midrange. There's just nothing really fancy about this deck. It's just consistent and powerful and does a good job winning winning games. You know, like there's there's not really uh, too much to say about this deck. Nothing too fancy, as you can tell here. Like, you know, all we're doing is we're just playing good, solid creatures and a whole bunch of good Planeswalkers. And, you know, just trying to win games with just a bunch of rares and mythics, basically. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we have going on here. Um, every time that we've played this deck, we've done well with it. And so I'm expecting more of the same, honestly, here. This is just a, a real straightforward deck. And uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and give this a try and see how it goes. Thanks, Tsunami. Thank you so much for that support. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Nothing fancy. It has the hottest trio of Nissa, Vivian, and Chandra. That is true. Tsunami, you are amazing. Thank you so much for that support. I really appreciate that. So that's sub number 25 on the day. Yeah, we could call this deck Charlie's Angels. I have not gotten the Unhinged Forest yet. No, I haven't. Definitely got to do that before, what, Tuesday is when it's like now till Tuesday. It's like your, your chance to get it. But I haven't done it yet. So, I, yeah, I have Reclamation Sage over Brontodon because, like, the max, the matchup that I really wanted against is, like, Nexus and against uh, the History Benalia decks. And against those decks, I really just want to be able to... I want to be able to kill their thing for... To kill the enchantment for three mana <clears throat> and not have to spend four mana. You know, Brontodon costs you four mana to destroy the enchantment. And then it also keeps the creature around. You know, like, you play your your uh, Reclamation Sage, blow up the enchantment, start keep attacking with it. I think Bronto Brontodon is better against Mono Red. Like, where if you're trying to have, like, the creature against Mono Red, <clears throat> you'd rather have Brontodon. But I like Reclamation Sage more in all the other matchups. Alright, so it looks like even more... Even more escape shift. Hey, Kurtash. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, we're only needing only need five more subs to get there to get to thirty before the stream ends here. <clears throat> five more subs during this league. That'll get us another I sub goal. Apocalypse. I will survive you. And how close are we? We're at we're at eighteen out of twenty sub goals for a twelve-hour stream. So we're only two sub goals away for a twelve-hour stream now. So if we get five more subscribers, we will be <clears throat> only one sub goal away. And we'll be real close to be doing a 12-hour stream here soon. Yeah, 2-2 two -two Krasis isn't going to handle Spellbreaker getting bigger and bigger. All right, Blood Sun's coming on in. Do I want any of these other cards against Scape Shift? Like they they may have enchantment removal. Usually the Scape Shift decks have enchantment removal. So maybe I should be playing the Rex Ages. I'm not sold on Ceratops. Not sold on Ceratops here. I guess this I guess this gives me two things that kill a, a bunch of zombies. And maybe what maybe I take out like the Domri's ambushes. Oh, I have learned that Nissa's not very good in this matchup. Maybe Nissa's better with Chandra though. What deck type theme would you like to see return? I wish they made better green white cards. Green white's my favorite guild, but there's just not 
the green white cards in standard just aren't very good. Yeah, as far as Sultai deck, Sultai Flash is a really good one. Um, I think I'm going to take out Nissa's. Maybe one Arcbow Ranger and the Nissa's. And no, let's trim two ambushes, get one Nissa back. Maybe I just don't play Anarchobolus, actually. We'll go Ceratops instead. Okay, final answer. Here we go. Hey, Kirtash. Going down to five. Let's get rid of these guardians. I guess maybe I guess a guardian can can go get a whole bunch of other guardians though. But I was thinking like if we maybe get rid of the spellbreaker. Or the ceratops. All right, we're going to go with this. Yeah, we've had yeah, we have had a lot of fun today. Yeah, had played a lot of good decks today. You know, this is this is our rank up Sunday stream. Didn't do as well with Sultai Flash, but still did pretty well besides that a Johnny's welcome. What is this? What is this? Teamer Elemental's best matchup. I don't know if there's... I don't know if there's a best matchup for it. It's the kind of like mid-range deck that just does fairly well against a lot of things. I don't know if there's one particular deck that's like... It's best. Alright, I don't know what's going on with our opponent's deck anymore. Is this still Scape Shift? Are they just playing a Johnny's Welcome in their Scape Shift deck to try to gain a lot of life whenever they get a bunch of zombies? Are they going to just, like, wrath me and get rid of all my creatures and stuff? Oh, that's fine. All right, well, that didn't work out. Like to draw a planeswalker. Not a land war elf. Just drawing a paradise druid in lands is not what we wanted. If we wouldn't have mulliganed down to you know, if we would have kept our seven card hand. This would have been really nice to, you know, have Ceratops and Growth Chamber Guardian. You know, like imagine if we had Ceratops here, just hit him down to four. Life would be a lot better. Right now, life not not looking so good for us. Yeah, Sultai Dreadhorde is pretty good. I have a, a Sultai Dreadhorde deck I like. Um, 
I'll see if I can find it in the stream decker. I haven't played it in a little while. See if I can find it. Where is it at? I cannot find this. Oh, there we go. All right, so we should be dead. I feel pretty good about our game three. Our hand was, our hand was about as bad as we can have here. And we came pretty close to killing our opponent. Our five card hand. We drew just nothing. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the Guild War events because you got to do those to... Um, I guess I could draw Chandra. Got to do those to get the Unhinged Forest. I'm not going to be doing them on stream, though. Because uh, from my experience with like, those kind of events, that's not something that does very well of people being interested to watch them because they're only just at, like there for a couple of days. We drew nothing but lands and two mana creatures every draw step. How much do I really want Nyssa? That's like really the question. I want the other Ceratops instead of Anissa. Yeah, I think so. I guess Arcboard Rangers is better than Domri's Ambush. Let's, let's change that. Yeah, probably not, Rex. You know, like, I... You know, streaming's kind of difficult still, too. You know, you have to... You know, it's... It definitely takes a toll on you, you know, and everything. And so I don't... I don't really want to, to play, like, that event and then still do the seven-hour stream also, like, the same day. Just want to just kind of relax and chill out while I play that event and get decks ready for tomorrow and stuff and kind of... And do that. And so I'll do that off-stream and then... Uh, stream the event or stream the four decks like normal don't need to get blood sun down immediately it's not like it's not like having it down right now really does anything. I want to get, you know, as much pressure as we can. Hmm. Well, my plan was definitely to go with Arcbow Ranger. But I guess... I 
I guess I'm going to go Phoenix to play around Do to play around Dovin's veto. And that's true, getting Blood Sun down earlier does play around Dovin's Veto. So this turn they could go like land and then they could go land plus the um, you know uh, circuitous route and get like some zombies and stuff. So I'm going blood sun here. Yay, no veto. I am Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. We're fit enough to survive. Fortunately, I don't have... <clears throat> don't have Reclamation Sage in my sideboard anymore. Don't have Ceratops in my sideboard anymore either. with the wild we're gonna tear you apart certainly hoping not another crisis yeah they can have little to fairy yeah they could go little to fairy bounce your blood sun and then escape shift you know like they could do that no not another crisis Wow. Okay. So... I just go six here. They have to chump block the land war elf. My, my. How you've grown. Down to two. Man, Vivian Arbor Ranger is awesome. Well, there's blood. There, that gets rid of the blood sun. That's really unfortunate. All right, can we draw Chandra? Yeah, the, the two Krasises were just awesome. Just kept them barely alive long enough and drew them enough cards that drew and, you know, helped them hit land drops. This Krasis has got me. I don't know. We haven't drawn the Enchantment Destruction. I don't know where it is. It's in the sideboard somewhere or sorry it's in the in the deck here somewhere didn't draw it though yeah we do have hellkite in the deck too yeah so hellkite hellkite chandra either one of those so that's four draw steps we have two chandra two hellkite but we need one of those come on chandra or hellkite no, not Paradise Druid. Uh, 
Fit enough to survive. I'm basically hoping my opponent messes up here with this block. Okay, they didn't. That was my hope. We still have our four. Right now, we could still draw one of those four cards of Hellkite and Chandra and still be okay right now. I can barely stay alive with blocking here. Go down to two. Okay, now they're killing Vivian. Alright, so it's still Chandra or Hellkite. Hellkite wins it, Chandra doesn't lose it. Everything else loses. I will not go extinct. Nope. Darn, close one there. Just didn't draw... Didn't draw well enough games 2 and 3. Hey, what's up, Tom Mota? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Get these hype boats in the chat, everybody, for Tom. Thank you so much. So, Messi, don't, don't use that kind of language. So games two and three there, we drew one Gruul Spellbreaker and one Vivian as cards that were not lands or mana creatures. Throughout both of those games combined, just two draws. It just wasn't quite good enough. That was just not, not, not good enough. Almost. I mean, we have Chandra's for a board wipe against Gape Shift. Didn't have them, though. Why are the... Just mulling the five again without seeing any lands. If I would have kept one Reclamation Sage in the sideboard last game, that game three, how I played like the two Arcbow Rangers, I could have, with the first one, minus five, and then been able to play the other one. And Honestly, it, we would have won that game three if I would have kept one Reclamation Sage in the sideboard.
But of course, not going to go with the arc bow that turn, because <clears throat> then Vine Mayor would kill the arc bow. The arc bow ranger. Hey, Chronic Slayer. Welcome to the party. Glad to have you here. Yeah, looks like we got Bant Hexproof. With the arc bow at my side, I can't lose a fight. My, my, how you've grown. Should I talk about it? Bant Hexproof. Been seeing a lot of prison realms here recently. I've let Scala down. Lots of prison realms. Nature will take back what rightfully Good belongs. thing it's not Exelon's binding, though. Sadura! This will be fun to watch. With the sub. And Anthropod. Oh, Chronic Slayer gifting out some subs. Thank you so much, Santa Chronic Slayer. Sadura and Anthropod. <clears throat> Hope you all enjoy your emotes. Everybody get your hype. In the chat, that gets us to 28. And Chronic Slayer saying, who's getting us to 30? Who's getting us to 30? Sorry, I'm late. This is a really good bounce on Prison Realm. That's a very good bounce there. Let's try this. Good, good play by the opponent here. That just kills our Vivian. Good play. Love it. Love seeing all those hype boats in the chat. So the question is, what do you think of a Planeswalker heavy metagame? Is it healthy or not? I don't... I think it's, I think it's fine. Anger only gets me so I don't, far. I don't know why it would be less healthy for the game than other things, really. But yeah, so it's fine. All right, well, we're not beating a Vine Mare with a, on Sarah's wings. Give that thing Vigilance, Lifelink, First Strike. All right, Reclamation Sages. Yeah, that's that's certainly a weakness that my deck has, is on Sarah's wings on Hexproof Creature. <laughs> you know, never faced this before, but yeah, that I don't I don't really think I'm winning this. We'll see though. Chandra does not kill Vine Mare. Vine Mare is an elemental, so I don't think I want these Chandras. Maybe a Domri out also then. Uh, the the teamer deck list you can find on my stream decker page there. <laughs> yeah, they did. They didn't make a card style for Blood Sun. Yeah, Blood Sun and Reclamation Sage. They didn't make the card styles for those. Scarecrow with that support. Thank you so much. Welcome to the channel, Scarecrow. Nah, Scarecrow, you're a rock star. 
I do you like Phoenix? Just a lot better hand. <laughs> Same hand, but better. Which code, Dragon? The Bingo 4 Mythic Champ code? That that code worked for me earlier today, just like that. Copy-pasted it. I mean, I, I don't think it has to be all caps, because I typed it in exactly like that, and it worked. So, I don't know what to tell y'all. Because none of these... I mean, they tell you, like, all caps for basically all of these, but they all work just like that. Is it possible you already had it? You already had it in? With the arc bow at my side, I can't lose a fight. I'd get out of Is it the possible you did it earlier today? You. Or something? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know why I play that Land Warwolf. Oh yeah, I do. Is that, so Land Warwolf helps me play Hellkite next turn. That's right. My, my. Knew there was a reason why I was playing it. Grown. But now I was like, whoa, I could have just played this Growth Chamber Guardian. But now I want to play. I want to be able to play the Hellkite next turn. It gave, it gave me a booster pack. That code, that's all it gave me it was just a booster pack. I will not go extinct. Okay, not first strike. Good. So I have to attack like this. If I attack out, then they can block like my Growth Chamber Guardian and gain six life and not actually die. So I have to just attack like this to force them to block. Because if, if I attack all out, they block the Growth Chamber Guardian, don't die, get to attack me again, gain six. Because the other thing has Vigilance and Life Link. Rude. That's really hard to beat, honestly. Vine Mira on a Vine Mare on Sarah's wings. That's a really hard combo to beat. We got it out of there for now. Now the bingo code just came out like today. Maybe something's wrong with the code if it's not working for y'all. I don't know. That is weird. Yeah, I just used it earlier today. I think I came out 12 hours ago. Was it like only for the first however many people or something? Yeah, you, you can try it with just one C instead of two Cs, I guess. I mean, I, I typed it in with the two Cs because I, I copy-pasted like I... I copied exactly what I put in. Maybe try it with just one C. It should give you one booster pack on Arena. That's what I got for it, at least.
Okay. I love everything from deer to dinosaurs. This will be fun to watch. No more growth chamber guardians. But still, kind of showed how good the growth chamber guardian was, though. Very good. Feels like we need more disenchant removal in our sideboard. But, no, enchantment removal decks haven't been super popular, but suddenly we're just, you know, it's two rounds in a row, both rounds here, we're just playing against two decks that have a whole lot of enchantment removal. Like, you know, removal in the form of enchantments. The code did already expired? Wow, that was a fast one. <laughs> Growth Chamber Guardian, low key the best two drop ever. I'm not, I'm not willing to go there. Not willing to go there. But it's a good one. All right, waiting on the opponent. Here we go. Yeah, that's that's what I was kind of thinking, Mr. John, that it, like the code expiring is just pure speculation that it it's I would be very surprised if it actually did expire. It's it probably like expired by accident kind of thing and they they're working on getting it back available again. That would be my expectation. Well, we'll see. Uh Nissa's not so good against time wipe. We'll see how this works. Witness the ties that bind us all. Be wary of the ground you walk on. And the second Nissa doesn't help you out too much either. And if they have on Sarah's wings, we die. Please don't have on Sarah's wings. No. I can't beat that. I can help you no longer. Just literally can't beat that at all. Just have no chance of beating that. Where's my reclamation sage? Why can't we ever draw it? We need Reclamation Sage. Where are you at? Okay. This thing can block at least. Good call, Kitty Dexterity. We're very close. So yeah, we're only one sub away from another sub goal. So if you're enjoying this the stream, had a good Sunday, like to help support me, somebody who's a full time streamer, consider hitting that sub but sub button. You get access to those twenty two really cool emotes as well. I am 
I'm Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. Wait, I should be attacking with these other things. Why am I not attacking with like the 4 4 and stuff? Fit enough to survive. Should attack with that growth chamber guardian last turn. Hey, Sirius Ward with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Sirius Ward. And Dragon Cackle. That's an awesome name. No. My chance at winning. Dragon Cackle. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Enjoy your emotes. Hope you're getting your hype boats in every time we get a subscriber. All right, so that's with a third sub goal today. Let me mark that down. That's 19 sub goals. I guess I should Time change this to, to 30 out of 40 brush. now. 19 sub goals out of 20. The next sub goal we get, I'm doing a 12 hour stream. So we'll probably get that tomorrow. Unlikely we're going to get 10 more subscribers tonight, but you never know. Alright, time to go all out. We're not... We're not winning this race, so we got to got to go all out. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we can get here. If our opponent has nothing but two lands in hand, actually, I think we win this. Yeah, we win this if we have nothing but lands in hand. How am I doing this? I need to keep a red mana open. first yeah 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 just give me a second the land shall conquer you need that thing to be four power A lot of damage coming in here. 
yeah yeah i think there's gonna be i think there's gonna be five events one event for each unhinged basic yeah i'm turning the two two into a four four Leave the hex need to leave the hex for creature back to block. Obviously, we need to have. We can't let the Sedanta Vanguard kill us. We need to have a blocker, and so I want the hexproof blocker there. Well, well, well. Do we force them to time wipe? I must seek comfort in Hopefully my not. Hopefully, they don't have time wipe. Hopefully we get another attack in with all these things. Yes, mana creatures will still do damage if tapped after attacking. Darn. Yep, they got time wipe. Well, at least we we didn't lose to the Vine Mare. So there's that. Once, once the creatures are in combat, they stay in combat as long as they're still on the battlefield, even if they get tapped. They're still in combat. If they leave the battlefield, then they're not in combat anymore, and they won't do any kind of damage or anything. Oh, no. On Sarah's wings. Ugh, stop with that card. Man. That's not really lucky for us. We just got our sub goal. Let's crack a pack open. We need some more. We need some luck. Let's crack a pack. Get our luck back. Scheming Symmetry. That's a cool card. I like playing that one in the dredge deck. Do need to make a just a scheming symmetry deck with lots of ways to mill the opponent. What's up, JRC? Yeah, it's been an awesome day today. Having fun on this rank up Sunday. Yeah, vicious rumors and scheming symmetry. That's a great combo.
Yeah, Jace at Ashiok helps that out also. See, we got a lot better handling than we've had in a little while. That's what we needed. We needed that. Ugh, we needed the pack breaking luck. Crack a pack. I don't know if like Domri have my elf fight your elf is that great. Hmm. Domri Paradise Druid. Vivian kill Lanamore elf. Vivian. Vivian kill Druid doesn't do very well for me. I could go Paradise Druid kill, let's, or Domri. I say sorry. Yeah, let's go. Let's go Domri. You think I'm crazy? Wait to see my mates. Domri kill this here. Wild beasts are bringing your and just attack there. Killing incubation Druid because that thing can get really big, and that card's kind of scary. But like if, if I would have gone Vivian, then my Lanor Elf would be tapped, and they'd be able to kill my Vivian. Wow, alright. That's fine. I bow to no one. I will aid you. Rise, my elemental friend. Expecting a block. But I don't mind the no block. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to beat the Arc Bow Ranger the next turn. All right, Chandra definitely out against Elementals. Probably just want the Coils in. Chandra out, Anissa out, and... Maybe just two Coils in. Two Coils in. So question is, do you think a Boreal Grazer can be new Llanowar Elf post-rotation? The problem is, is a Boreal Grazer only really works when you're playing a lot of lands. It's only useful when you're playing a lot of lands, like 26 or more lands. So that's kind of the problem is Llanowar Elf can still be a good mana source even when you don't have extra land drops. But if you if you ever have a hand with like two lands in it, a Boreal Grazer doesn't speed you up. Even if you have, like, three lands, it still doesn't really help you because once it hits, like, your third turn, you stop playing land drops, and then you don't you don't really get any anything from the Grazer. So, so you have to, in order to take advantage of Grazer, you have to play a ton of lands. And so that does, that does mean that Grazer is not going to be for every green deck, like how Land of War Elf can kind of be we kind of fit in anywhere if you're playing lots of lands or not as many lands either way you can fit land we're off in so yeah exactly even though they kind of seem like they're like they're similar type cards but they don't they don't really do the same thing Good draw.
Gotta get rid of that Risen Reef. Always gotta kill Risen Reefs. Yeah, we've just had some bad luck this league. I mean, we've... Yeah. We've played really close games, and we've been in the games. Uh, both both game threes, like, towards the very end, it looked like we were going to be winning, and our opponents drew better than us kind of thing. Like, it would not... It's basically, like, one draw step away each game from being 2-0 and instead of 0-2. That's really where we're at here. It's It's been some really close game threes. Yeah, those are, yeah, you could definitely play I mean, Flame Sweep, you never play Fiery Cannonade in this metagame before Flame Sweep. You just never would. Like there's there's no reason to. Where there are pirates that you want to kill, like you just never play Fiery Cannonade right now unless you're already playing four Flame Sweeps. Anyway, besides that, um I guess if you're playing your own pirate deck, I guess that would be your reason if you're playing a pirate deck. But Anyway, uh, that is an option. I I think you know we have the Chandras there because by the time like you need like that that card, it is the late game. So we have the Chandras and we have the Blood Suns. I like those kind of cards better against Scape Shift than than uh, Flame Sweep and Fire Cannonade. But it's definitely an option if you want more against if you want more against them. It's definitely an option. It's just how many matches I played. We're just playing ranked so we can play as many matches as we want. So the Grixis games just took a lot longer. And so I only played four, the Grixis matches. Usually I play five matches though. Six six crisis is pretty big. Uh, the second one podcast. Yeah, yeah, I made all these decks. Stop. Hydro crisis is still a good card. I don't have a chance of winning this one anymore. This game's over. I'm just kind of seeing some more of their deck right now. But against these elemental decks, you know, Cavalier Thorns, Hydro Crisis, these are really difficult cards for me. I got to get out to an earlier start, a faster start. Um, obviously, this hand just wasn't good. You know, we mulligan to five. And didn't have Mulligan to five. I guess I did have the two drop though. I did draw into the Paradise Druid, which did help. So I mean, our our for five cards, our hand was was pretty good. I can't I can't complain too much about that. Oh, they're a mass manipulation deck.
18 creatures. Okay. I'm going to play these Veil Summers too. No, I never really played much as a Phoenix. That deck's not too much in my wheelhouse. Yeah, the the biggest problem with the Dino is you know doesn't get through the Cavalier Thorns. But besides against the Cavalier Thorns, it is pretty good. I don't know if it's better than Nyssa. Shifting Ceratops, that is. Maybe it's better than Nyssa. I don't mind having it in the sideboard also, though, for 4 mana Vivian. It is it is useful. There's 4 mana Vivian. It is useful having a good creature in your sideboard to minus 5 for. But maybe I should bring in one Ceratops over one of the Nyssas. Can I have land? Why does Vivian have to have six loyalty? I can have five. I could ambush the Temple of Mystery attack for five. Five's not enough, though. It's close to being enough. So this will allow me to, I'll still be able to kill Vivian next turn as long as they don't have mass manipulation here. Ugh, still kill Vivian next turn. I can, like it's four power right now, Domri makes it five power, Ambush makes it six. Oh, it only makes it six. Oh, I was thinking it was going to make it seven. No, that's only six. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to ambush the Nyssa. If we would have had our third land drop on turn three, definitely think we run away with this. So, you know, we would have killed their mana creatures. They wouldn't have had the Nyssa right away. Definitely like our chances a lot if we would have had that third mana, but we didn't. Yeah. 
Do I kill Nyssa or do I kill two lands? I'm gonna kill two lands. Stop. Ugh. Nature's true power. I guess we have to make sure the Nessa does an ultimate. Just rather kill one of these mana creatures. We are the many. Let us talk of peace. Well, hopefully they don't draw land. Hopefully they just draw spells. That's really not good. So yeah, now that Omnus a 4-4. Four, four. No idea why they're attacking like that. Why they're attacking Tom Reef for 4 and me for 3. Okay, there we go. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Alright. I'll just see myself out then. They want them to draw on spells. That Steam Vents is like so perfect too because it gives them blue and red mana. That was that was the perfect draw. Now, 
and they have the Leaf Kindreds too. They just have so much, so much mana still. Six mana. Wow, no attacks. How about that? <laughs> yeah, so, so much mana. Oh, I guess they could still attack. They're still deciding attackers. Now no attacks. Close your eyes and listen to the sounds of the wild. Watch out. All right. They bite. Chomping some. Chomping some lands. Attacking this Nissa. Because again, gotta be worried about that thing ultimating. Okay, now we don't have to be as worried about that thing ultimating. Yeah, so now they just have the green mana. Now they don't have the blue and the red. That's why I killed that thing instead of killing like a Leaf Kin Druid that adds two. Or the Omnath. They didn't play anything last turn with their steam vents, but now they're shocking in for the stomping ground. Especially when they have the Nissa that just untaps the land. What are they what are they doing with this stomping ground? We have something that costs seven. Could have done last turn. <laughs> Thanks, Donar. Yeah, I I definitely try not to tell. That's something that so, yeah, that's something I just don't don't uh, do too much, but you know it happens happens to everybody. But get out of my way! I'm burning up here. Well, that's not good for me. Especially how, like, we're about to be 0-3, but we, all three game threes are just so close. You know, like, if our opponent just doesn't draw a stomping ground for a turn, you know, give us one more turn, like, with this Arkbo, with, you know, playing the new Vivian. Like, we're killing that Nissa and everything, like, 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 really they needed that stomping ground this turn. <laughs> kind of thing. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Hey, Kitato! Demir Flash version. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Kitato, do you want to send me your you your Demir? I know you're working on Demir Flash. You want me to send me that, and I'll kind of start from there and see what I can do.
Hey, Bruzy. Yeah, games are going well. Darn. They blocked. So I can have Vivian kill the stomp. Like, obviously, I'm taking eight on the way back. So I can't just kill, like, these planeswalkers. Problem is, Chandra Emblem's gonna kill me. I don't have life gain in here. Yeah, so I could go... Yeah, I could go the Vivian to kill the stomping ground. But... Um... Then I, I just have, I don't ha really, ha if I do that, I don't really have very much to pressure these planeswalkers. I think I need the phoenix to be able to block here. And they drew the land. I didn't, I did not die from a Vivi from just Chandra minus three did not kill me there. I'd have the token that I could jump with, but that would also get rid of the Chandra. All right, well, we're after 10 o'clock anyway, and we we are not having a great league with Gruul. We'll go ahead and just kind of end it here. Oh, do the minus three with the exile. Oh, yeah, I guess I was dead to that. The exile part. Um, yeah, like, I don't... You know, sometimes you just lose, and that that's what was happening there. I don't really feel worse about our deck, even though we win 0-3. So it was our very first time doing poorly with our deck here. Nissa wasn't so great for us these games. Kind of again, but the the only thing I can really see is like more enchantment removal, I guess, in the sideboard. Like, if we think about our three matches, so the first match was against the Scape Shift deck, where we were so close to winning game three. Um where our opponent <clears throat> was able to Ixalan's binding, you know, have like the Krasis and Krasis and then Ixalan's binding our Blood Sun plus Scape Shift and then us not drawing out. Both games two and three in that match, if you combine games two and three, we drew out of all the draw steps we had in games two and game three together, every single draw step was just a a land or land war off Paradise Druid, you know, like our our eight mana creatures. It was just all lands or those two, except for we drew one Spellbreaker and we drew one Vivian Arc Boat Ranger. That was it in two games. And we were, you know, with those games, remember if we drew a Hellkite or a Chandra, would have had those, but... All right, so that was like match number one. Like, that happens. And then our second match, we just played against a, a weird Boggles deck that had Vine Mare plus... Um, on Sarah's wings, they had that all three games. They had, you know, there's only they're only playing four Vine Mares for on Sarah's wings, but they had that combo all all three games. And we were still real close to pulling out the game three. We even got got rid of that. They had a time wipe to wipe our whole board. We were still ahead with us having basically all after all that. It was us having Growth Chamber Guardian, them having a Danto Vanguard, with us both about to die. Like they were gonna have to just chump block with their Adanto Vanguard, but their draw step was another on Sarah's like their last draw step there was on Sarah's wings. That now they have the four power life life linker in the air and they kill us. So you know that that's how that's how that one went. That could have easily been a win. And then yeah, we just played against the elemental deck. Where if they don't draw land a couple of turns in a row there, they don't draw land. Uh, we were going to be able to pull ahead, especially there at the very end. Um, they drew that land, and they did. Like, they just had they anything but a land. We were going to be good. They had to draw a land. So, like, all three of those... All three of those matches... Like, that's just how magic goes. Like, all three of those, we were in good position to win. Our opponent had... Like, game three, we were in good positions to win them. Our opponent had to draw something... Uh, you know, something particular that they needed, and they did. And that's just how... Magic goes. Um, 
So I know that's why it's hard. It's hard to like take away stuff from records. Like some people will, will see zero and three and be like, "Man, that deck's terrible." But it's really not. You know, like that that zero and three was super close to being three and zero. That's just how magic is, though. All right, but that's Gruel Midrange. Um, I like all these decks, even though we didn't do very good with Sultai and Gruel as far as records go, but they both felt good. Still, all all four of these decks are decks that I am uh, very confident in taking to Mythic and doing well with. Um, so, uh, yeah, not, uh, didn't didn't waver in my confidence in any of these decks here today. Um, yeah, and we had a ton of subs, so awesome, awesome stream today. So there we go. Thanks everybody here in Twitch chat for watching. Thanks everybody on YouTube for watching this video later on over there. If you're watching these, if you're here in Twitch chat, make sure to check out the YouTube channel for any of these other decks that you missed today. Or if you missed the sub battle stream from yesterday. But there we go. That's Gruel Midrange. So again, thank you very much for watching if you're watching this on YouTube. And I will see you for the next video.